Thank you so much. I have to say, it's a real honor to accompany such a brave and distinguished knight. None other than Catelyn, wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lenato incite such a reckless rebellion? You should know more about that than any of us, Ash. Well, I don't. Lenato never mentioned anything of the like to me. He probably didn't want you getting caught up in his own personal vendetta. How much do you know about the tragedy of Dusker, Professor? It's when the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was... was murdered by the people of Dusker. It happened about four years ago. It's okay, Catherine. Please, go on. Right. Well, Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was accused of being involved in that whole awful affair. He was executed by the church. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply passed judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you. I thank you. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! Shouting from within the fog. It seems the knights are already battling. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Cut through. What should I do? Here goes. I'll give it my all. Stay focused.
I'll go. Ready. I'm on it. Let's get to it. Think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Why, Lenato? Why did you drag so many others into this? Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. <laughs>
won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato. <laughs> Strike Cassandra. It was your wretched zealotry that killed my son. <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros. The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Lord Lenato, please don't die. I am sorry, but did you really think you would get away with this? Oh, my God. 
This is bad.
get to it. Thank you. Chance to prevail.
this. more I can do here. Be mindful. will be the one to kill you, no other. You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. Stay focused. Sorry. Stand down, Ash. I must destroy these evildoers by any means necessary. Please. Rhea is an infidel who has deceived the people and desecrated the goddess. We have virtue and the goddess herself on our side. Please surrender, Lenato. Whatever your reasons for doing this, we can still talk it out. Even if all that's true, dragging the townsfolk into it like this isn't right. Enough. If that is how you feel, prepare yourself. I'm putting an end to this. <laughs>
Thanks. You can rely. Much appreciated. Deceived by that witch, I will show you the truth. Thank you. can feel the difference. Not a chance.
Thanks so much. Lenato, I... I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go.
Why did this happen? Lenato was always such a kind man. Everyone in the village was... was so nice to me, and I... I killed them. I, I killed them all. I had to. I know I had to. I know that, but still, I... What does that make me? Please, don't beat yourself up, Ash. We did what had to be done. I'm... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be bothering you. I'm... I'm going to check on the town. I hope my brother and sister are okay. That... That was my first time killing civilians, too. Those who I'm sworn to protect. Are you insane? Those weren't knights or soldiers, but fathers and sons. We... We shouldn't have killed them. We should have found another way. I... I'm sorry. It's not fair for me to blame you for the circumstance. I know that if we hadn't done what we did, even more civilian lives would have been lost. At least my mind understands that, but my heart... <sighs> Professor, those in power, no matter the era, always claim they fight for a just cause, that they take life to protect it. But... Is it truly okay to take any life you please? All in service of some implacable just cause? Lord Lenato didn't take up arms out of a lust for power. He simply believed his cause to be just. Who's to say it wasn't? Maybe we didn't have to cut him down like that. Maybe we could have reached a mutual understanding, found a path of peace. I... I have to believe that. Perhaps the notion sounds laughable to you. Mere lip service to naive ideals. But I can't believe otherwise. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's right of rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best. But a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. Even if they encounter an enemy whom they cannot best, they should be fine, so long as they have you on their side. The right of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard.
Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garig Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Thanks. So, our task for this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery, to help put a stop to that assassination plot. The knights will certainly have their hands full protecting Lady Rhea, and perhaps our enemy is counting on that. Please, elaborate. Why would Lord Lenato be carrying around a secret note with an assassination plot written on it? Isn't it possible he hoped to monopolize everyone's attention with this alleged plot in order to distract from his true aim? Maybe they're after the treasure vault. Oh, there's also lots of valuable stuff in the library and Professor Hanneman's quarters. True. The monastery undoubtedly houses many weapons that rival even the hero's relics. Whatever their aim, we can't allow any harm to come to the ladies of the monastery. I mean, what would I do with my spare time? You mean to say we should search the monastery, try to find what the enemy is truly after? Yes. And we should be prepared to fight them as well, should it come to that. I wouldn't mind getting in some training, just in case. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and this young man here is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. A hero's relic. However, could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. Things we can't obtain here are likely obtainable by way of the underground. Are you unfamiliar with Garrigmok's underground? 
The place is an absolute paradise for those who can't stay above ground. You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. Sending an assassin to the monastery, hmm? Hopefully it's someone worth crossing blades with. It seems we're cut from the same cloth. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? Practice yields results. Sending in a I know nothing about it. bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Oh, I'm right, all right. My animal instinct is telling me that the enemy is after our best meats. Good to see you, Professor. Did you... I was just on my way... I bet... The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. The monk they said that given the circ That is not mine. That is not in the fighting I'm so thankful you made it out alive I don't know what we would do if we lost you oh. oh have you been tasked with guarding the monastery as well such a stir over a single letter but I suppose the archbishop's safety is too important to risk oh such a Professor. 
There's been talk of an attempt on Rhea's life. We've been ordered to help the Knights patrol. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't beloved by everyone the world over? It seems there were forces opposing the Church, beyond Lord Lonato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I don't understand. I don't know if with everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. On the last day of the rite, the monastery is open to the general public. It's kind of fun. It makes the place feel like a festival. No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor, I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do it on the day of the rite of rebirth? I feel like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone, to cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Please, do me a favor. enemy's aim lies elsewhere. We had better discern their true intent quickly. As I see it, our best option is to explore every inch of the monastery. We should also speak to everyone here. Let's plan to compare notes once you've got a lead. Will you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? Alongside Catherine, I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. What the?
It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrett Mach's 995-year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the Knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the Goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. The glory of progress. That's so. Uh... Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. <laughs> I bought the ingredients for making some sweet treats I can't wait to eat. Huh? Oh, uh, I know it looks like I'm fooling around, but I'm not. I'm preparing for potential battle during my patrol by making sure I have plenty of food I can eat while walking. Smart, huh? <laughs> I know. Once they're ready, I promise to share some with you. So sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. Twenty or so years ago, there was a big fire in Garrig Mach. On that day, Captain Gerald went missing. Everyone thought he was dead. It never occurred to me that he might actually have survived. The truly strange part is that, in all those years, he hasn't changed a bit.
Me. People seem to think that all the Knights of Seros are equal, but that isn't quite so. There are many distinguishing ranks within the Order. For example, there are squires who are training to become knights, as well as full knights, like myself. Oh, and then we have the Holy Knights, such as Catherine. Those are the knights that can wield a hero's relic. Listen. The goddess's home is in the sky. She lives on a bright and shining star. But in the spring, you can't see that star. That means she can't protect Bodmin. That's why we all celebrate the day when her star returns to the sky. That's the day of the rite of rebirth. See? See? I've been studying. I know just about everything. I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Oh, thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. I checked on my brother and sister, who were living in Castle Gaspar. Thankfully, they're all right. I was worried because they're both so young. But the church in the castle town offered to take them in. That much, at least, is a big relief. Childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh, but more importantly, this place is off limits, Professor. It is only open to the public on the day of the goddess's rite of rebirth. Here's an idea. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers, eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic, to protect against would-be grave robbers. Stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh, no, my specialty. I will show my best work. The monastery holds many treasures. Maybe the enemy is after one of those? Even so, the idea of stealing from a church is just horrible. Hey, Professor. Oh, hey, Professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed, stuff like that. Hey, I got a favor to ask.
Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Oh, hey, do you know him? He only writes... for this professor I'd better avoid the training grounds I swear his highness never sleeps you're out late Sylvain is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do ah, your highness Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night, I'll focus more on my studies, and in return, you'll go into town with me, and we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run-of-the-mill. I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they... Will you never let that rest? It was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. With your brute strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. <sighs> if I do as you wish, will you truly promise to improve your behavior? What'd I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. You had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri, you always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun.